Recently in Ukraine, an enormous barrage of missiles and drones assaulted Kyiv, with dramatic footage emerging of what has been claimed to be the destruction of a Patriot system, whilst Ukraine, separately, claims to have downed every missile and drone aimed towards the capital. Earlier in May, on the 4th to be exact, a Patriot system had reportedly downed a Kinzhal missile. For those who don't know, the Kinzhal is an air-launched hypersonic ballistic missile capable of reaching Mach 7 to 10. It is touted as one of Russia's hypersonic superweapons, and yet evidence is suggesting it was downed by an air defense system first fielded in 1981. Well, first to the possibility of downing a hypersonic missile using a far older and slower system. First of all, the Patriot has been significantly upgraded since its first iteration, which performed poorly in the Gulf War. The Patriot of 2023 is not the Patriot of the early 90s. Secondly, the Patriot does not have to fly as fast as a hypersonic missile in order to intercept it. The Patriot needs only to detect where the missile is, calculate where it is going, and then launch to get into the Kinzhal's way. It is entirely feasible that today's Patriot is capable of downing a hypersonic missile that notably lacks the extra maneuverability that other countries typically associate with true hypersonic weapons. The Kinzhal is only an air-launched ballistic missile derived from the Iskandar land-launched ballistic missile, and all ballistic missiles, by virtue of their being ballistic missiles, are hypersonic in nature at some point during their trajectory. Now on to the Patriot's performance in Kyiv. There have been many tweets touting the cost of the launches of the Patriot batteries around Kyiv, which were conducted on the 15th of May. Others have pursued the narrative that because a portion of a Patriot battery was seen to be destroyed, the Patriot is clearly an outdated and useless system. And this is quite frankly nonsense. If the reporting on the May 15th missile attack is accurate, then 18 missiles of various types and six Shahed Kamikaze drones were used in the attack, and all 18 were destroyed. This likely can't be completely attributed all to the Patriot. However, the dramatic footage coming out of Ukraine indicates that the Patriot's crews around Kyiv were working overtime. The cost is all irrelevant. If the Patriot is working as intended, and downing Russia's highly expensive new missile systems that are difficult to replace, then the cost-benefit analysis clearly means the money spent on Patriot missiles is money well spent, saving lives and preventing the destruction of critical infrastructure. And as to whether the Patriot is an outdated and or useless system, the Patriot battery and crew in Kyiv went up against six Kinzhal hypersonic missiles, nine caliber cruise missiles, three regular ballistic missiles, and six Shahed drones, incoming from multiple directions, to the north, east, and south. For any system to not only track, but intercept so many targets from so many directions at once, is proof that the system works. The proof is in the pudding. Now, the Patriot is not a shield, nor is it infallible. All defense systems are vulnerable to saturation attacks. However, this recent attack through pretty much everything that the Russians have right now at a single Patriot battery. And the battery survived and successfully downed six of Russia's most modern missiles. Pictures of supposed Kinzhal debris have surfaced over the last couple of days and appear to be accurate, proving that the downing of at least some Kinzhals occurred during this latest attack. In addition, a lot has been said of the footage apparently showing a Patriot being destroyed. Now, we don't have confirmation of this, first of all. No direct visual evidence has been provided of any Patriot system even being partially destroyed. There has been some reporting that a Patriot launcher was partially damaged. However, what can be said for certain is that there is no chance an entire Patriot battery was destroyed. A full Patriot battery is composed of a radar station, a command center and power plant, a relay post, and six separate launchers. These components are always dispersed so that a direct hit on one component will still leave the rest functional. The Ukrainian army has said something already to this effect, not to mention it is all official US doctrine, and also just basic common sense to disperse the components of an air defense system to prevent the destruction of an entire battery if one piece is directly hit. So as usual, please ignore people spreading lies 
about the latest events in Ukraine, or in the internet in general.